OpenAI just gave ChatGPT something it's never had before, the power to think ahead. Imagine waking up in the morning, and before you've even touched your coffee, an AI has already gone to work, researching, planning, anticipating, then handing you a personalized daily briefing shaped entirely around your life. At the same time, Google DeepMind is pushing robotics into a new era, teaching machines not just to follow instructions, but to plan multi-step tasks, draw answers from the web, and even share skills across completely different robots. And Meta? They've unveiled an AI-driven video feed that could fundamentally change how content spreads across Instagram and Facebook. Three breakthroughs, one moment, a signal that AI isn't waiting for us anymore. It's moving forward on its own. Let's start with OpenAI. For years, ChatGPT has been reactive. You asked the questions, you steered the conversation. The burden was on you to decide what mattered. The answers could be useful, but the spark had to come from your side. Pulse changes that. Here's the vision. While you sleep, ChatGPT works asynchronously in the background. It gathers context, your past chats, your feedback, and if you allow it, data from connected apps like Gmail or Google Calendar. Then in the morning, it delivers a digest, a clean set of visual cards you can swipe through, expand for more depth, or dismiss with a tap. It's not random updates, it's a daily pulse on the things that actually matter to you. Say you've been planning a trip. Pulse could surface travel tips, restaurant ideas, or even draft an itinerary synced with your calendar. If it notices a birthday coming up, it might nudge you to grab a gift. If you've been discussing triathlon training, it could suggest nutrition strategies or new running routes. This isn't a feed designed for distraction. It's context, personalized, relevant, and crucially, shaped by you. There's even a curate option where you can tell ChatGPT exactly what to surface next time. Maybe it's a Friday roundup of local events, tennis match updates, or new sci-fi releases. Over time, the system learns your preferences. And feedback is simple. Thumbs up if it's helpful, thumbs down if it missed. One tester, Isaac Seiler, shared how he'd been talking with ChatGPT about PTO scheduling during a grant period in Taiwan. The next day, Pulse surfaced not just calendar tips, but train and commute options he said he never would have found himself. That's the power of Pulse. It doesn't just reflect back what you already know. It nudges your thinking one or two steps further. And unlike endless feeds, Pulse is finite. The updates appear, you review them, then you move on. As Samir Ahmed, the technical lead for ChatGPT explained, the updates end. The idea is to get you the info you need, then let you get back to your life. For now, Pulse is in preview, available only for pro users on mobile. It will expand to Plus and eventually to everyone. And OpenAI admits it won't always be perfect. Sometimes tips will arrive late or advice may already be outdated. But the more you interact, the more it learns what's truly important to you. On privacy, the rules remain unchanged. Your data tunes your results, no one else's. Pulse feedback isn't fed into the global model. As Christina Kaplan, who leads personalization at OpenAI, put it, quote, your pulse is between you and ChatGPT. Multiple filters are in place to block harmful or unhealthy content, with oversight from policy and safety teams. It's not flawless, but OpenAI is upfront about the challenges. This all ties into a bigger ambition. Fijimo, OpenAI's CEO of Applications, has described a goal as building agents, AI systems that don't just answer, but act on your behalf. Earlier this year, ChatGPT Agent showed the first glimpse of this. Pulse pushes it further, from chatbot to assistant. While OpenAI advances assistance, Google DeepMind is reshaping robotics. They've just announced two new models, Gemini Robotics 1.5 and Gemini Robotics ER 1.5. And together, they represent a leap forward. Up until now, robots could follow simple commands. Fold this paper, open that bag, pick up this object. One-off tasks, useful but limited. These upgrades unlock multi-step reasoning. 
instead of just sort laundry, a robot can now separate darks from lights. Instead of pack this suitcase, it can look up the weather in London through Google search, then decide what to pack. Instead of a simple recycling task, it can look up local composting and recycling rules, then act accordingly. This is real problem solving. Here's how it works. Gemini Robotics 1.5 handles embodied reasoning. It sees the robot's environment, builds an understanding, and when it needs more context, it queries digital tools like Google Search. The results come back in natural language instructions. Those instructions are passed to Gemini Robotics 1.5, which executes them through vision and language capabilities. One model plans, the other carries out. But there's another breakthrough, skill transfer. DeepMind demonstrated how a skill learned on one robot could be passed to another, even if the hardware is completely different. They trained the Aloha 2 robot, equipped with dual mechanical arms, to complete a task. Then without retraining, this same skill worked seamlessly on the Franca robot, and even on Aptronic's humanoid Apollo. That means no more training every robot from scratch. Skills can move freely across machines. The implications are massive. A single model could control robots of all shapes and sizes, from factory arms to humanoids. Skills developed once could ripple across the entire robotics ecosystem. Efficiency skyrockets when every machine doesn't have to start from zero. Developers are already getting access. Gemini Robotics 1.5 is rolling out through the Gemini API in Google AI Studio. The more advanced models remain in limited release for select partners, but as with all DeepMind projects, broader access will come. Finally, let's turn to Meta. They've just introduced a new feature called Vibes, an AI-first video feed inside the Meta AI app. At first glance, it feels familiar, a scrollable stream of short clips, easy to browse. But here's the twist. Every single video has been generated or remixed with AI. And you're not just watching, you're creating. If a video catches your eye, you can instantly remix it, change the style, add music, swap elements, or layer edits until it feels like your own. Or you can start from scratch, generating entirely new clips inside the app. When you're done, sharing is frictionless. Post directly to the Vibes feed, send it via DMs, or export it straight into Instagram or Facebook as reels or stories. And Meta is betting big on integration. Imagine scrolling Instagram, spotting an AI-generated clip, and with a single tap, jumping into the Meta AI app to remix it yourself. That seamless bridge from their massive platforms into this new creative space is the play. Just like Instagram and Facebook adapt to your behavior, Vibes does the same. Over time, the videos it surfaces shift toward your tastes, your interests, your creative style. It's early days, but Meta is already partnering with artists and creators to push the tools further. Expect more advanced editing, more powerful models, and eventually full-scale AI film editing from your phone. So here we are, OpenAI pushing toward true assistance, Google DeepMind teaching robots to think, plan, and share, Meta reimagining how we create and consume media. The question now is simple. Are you excited about AI taking a more active role in your life, or does it feel like the future is moving too fast? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit subscribe if you want to keep up with every breakthrough, and as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.